I drive in and what? Automatically you can understand what's wrong with my vehicle. How is this going to work? So exactly. Um, at UVI, it's kind of, you can think of us like an MRI for the vehicle. Mm -hmm. We have a few systems. You simply drive through our, through, our, through our systems. And then we're able, within a few seconds, to really understand the full condition of the vehicle. Um, we're taking images of the tires, the undercarriage, the whole exterior. So if you have any leakages, any expired tires, any issues of wear and tear of the tires, we're simply able to find out everything. Amir, Hanako Ventures led the round, but GM did participate through its venture round. I thought we used that as a sort of case study. Do you do business with General Motors? What is it that you actually sell to the automakers or to the service shops? So we have quite a few partners. Um, it was published that we work with General Motors. We work with them on mainly on their dealerships to be able to service their customers better. It's really important for us to give a better customer experience while someone driving into the dealership, exposing kind of the issues and really understand the full condition of the vehicle. We are working with them on the dealerships, but also we have more partners like CarMax, like Volvo, um, like Hyundai and Toyota that invested us in the previous round. We're also working with them as well. Uh, Bloomberg reported that the deal valued UVI at around $800 million. How difficult was that to raise the funds in this environment from those partners? And I guess, were you wanting to hit unicorn status? I think right now we're um, really focusing on building value. Um, Samir just spoke about companies that really need to prove that they have customers or bringing value to their customers, and this is exactly what we are doing. We are working with all of our partners, where GM and the others, um, to make sure that our products bring uh, value not only to our customers, but also to their customers. And this is what is important, and this is why we were still able to raise uh, fairly um, a lot of money, especially right now, which is slightly harder in terms of everything that is going on with, with the economics. Caro, they, they describe it as the MRI machine for vehicle inspection, but really this is a story about artificial intelligence. Yeah, and I, I'm interested, Emir, to that end. How do you actually say that this is an artificially intelligent, at its foundation level, company? Because you're, you're running it through images, I'm assuming, to be able to understand whether your tires are looking good or whether other parts... But how do you, how do you prove to the investor base that you haven't just tacked on AI to make yourself sexy? Right, so basically what we're showing the investors, um, how does it really work, right? How do, we, how do our, we are able to really find all the issues at the vehicle? How do things work in the back end? The fact that we're able to break the vehicle into the different parts, the fact that we're able to find different things really, really quickly. These are the things that are important to, to our investors to make sure we have a really strong foundation of models um, and AI-based models that can really work for every vehicle, every type of vehicle, vehicle and any condition of the vehicle that we're seeing. Mm. And this is kind of why it's really important and kind of the strengths of, your FO, of AI uh, because it really helps us to even support things we haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, so if there's a new vehicle we haven't seen it before, we're still able to find most of the damages on that vehicle, even when we didn't see the specific type or model of the vehicle. And that's kind of the strength of what we're building. UVI is based near here. Well, you're in Jersey. Right. You came from Israel. Where is your tech talent at the moment for this? So both. Here in, here in Jersey, we have offices both in, um, in Jersey, uh, but also in Ohio. Um, and we also have an office in, um, in Israel. Um, we also have offices in Germany um, and the UK. Very quick, Amir. Where will you build and manufacture the systems here in North America? Where? So uh, we're now manufacturing here in Indianapolis. Um, and that's um, help us to scale a lot quicker um, and to ship more systems to our customers.